would like to show you how to install EndNote in the new Mac Sierra. Uh, as you could see, like if you click the preference system here, oops, sorry about this Mac. Uh, you could see like this Mac or Sierra, and I know like some of guys they have issue about uh, installing EndNote on this uh, new operating system. So let's do how to do it. Okay, the biggest issue problem is because if you click in the security it's not showing like uh, from which the app can be installed and we cannot configure it so how to do it um, okay the first thing that you need to do is going to terminal okay uh -huh. and then from here you can type as uh, uh, admin to activate it like to make you have an ability to choose like which app that it's that it could be installed from where okay you need to type your password okay and then what you need to do is type sudo is pctm master this Okay. When you already like uh, click this code, then uh, Mac will allow you to install any software from anywhere. Okay, so what you need to do now is going to your EndNote folder, click EndNote installer. As you could see, it's going to install the EndNote. It's going to application. And yep, it's installing the EndNote. Uh, okay. Okay, I need to like authorize it. Okay, you now we could see like it's installing and okay now we're going to the applications and we could see there is endnote x7 here and if you click the endnote will asking you for the registration right and so on and so forth yep so what you need to do now is going to the endnote crack to and then copy this file and then paste it here okay you could see the file is already new here okay and then uh, going to the terminal but First, you need to go through terminal to the folder where you install the EndNote. In mine, is like application EndNote X7, and you still log in as the admin, and then change the crack file that you just copied to the EndNote. Bam! And you could see it's already here. It's gone. There is no more. The one that we uh, used to paste. Okay, and then once more you click EndNote and you will see. Boom. Okay, you don't need to make it new, and you could already see there is no need to like register it or entry your code number or anything. Okay. That's the thing, and then when you see the preference system here, as you could see, like they still able to install from anywhere. You have to disable it. So just paste this code sudo sptl master enable to your uh, terminal one more time, and then bam. Okay, and as you back here. 
and you click it one more time different system okay uh, you will see like this uh, they uh, they return to the default one more time okay I hope this helped thanks